Hey everybody, thanks for uh, watching this tutorial. Uh, this is Aaron from PhotoshopDemos.com and today we're going to be looking at creating your own desktop wallpaper um, from the movie Twilight. And um, just thought that that would be kind of fun. Um, this movie is kind of popular right now. Um, I actually went and saw it this past week too, thought it was pretty good. And I've heard from a lot of other people that um, the, um, the book and the movie sync up pretty well. Um, but anyway, um, I want to show you a couple of key things on how to actually make your own desktop wallpaper because a lot of times you may go online and find stuff and want to download things but you can actually make uh, wallpapers pretty easily and pretty quickly yourself using Photoshop and uh, you can do some really cool effects so without further ado let's go ahead and get started so um, the first thing I did was I went online to look for some images and I knew that with this being a popular movie that there would probably be some videos uh, or I'm sorry some uh, some photos out there online that obviously you know you could probably download off of Google or wherever else that you like to search and I did find this particular image and um, this particular image is of the two main characters from the movie um, and basically there's a scene where they're kind of going through the trees um, and uh, basically this is probably like a production still that was shot kind of like off um, off camera but um, anyway I thought it worked particularly well for the kind of shot that I wanted to do for my desktop because they're kind of both looking in a direction towards the edge and then that way I could position them very well sort of off to the side here along with the title so um, just thought that might be kind of a nice layout so I'll go ahead and show you how to actually get this image now before we do that um, I do want to actually review a couple things like how I sort of got the idea to do this. Well, I started looking for some of the other movie posters and some of the other images online for this particular movie. And there's a couple things that you may notice. Um, and if you've seen the movie, you would obviously know like the whole thing is this guy's a vampire and his skin is sort of pale, you know. And with the movie poster, they actually, um, or this is probably a book cover or a um, or a poster. Basically, they made his eye light up here a little bit more yellow, and um, obviously trying to make her skin a little bit more warm and his a little bit more um, dull and gray. So. Um, Another thing is is that all the skin tones are very smooth. Everything's kind of almost airbrushed, and it sort of has like this an effect that really it's almost like it's painted versus it actually being a photograph. Um, and so those are kind of the effects that I'm really going for. And I want to show you one more before we move on um, because that's really the key to really any good um, kind of photography or really creating these sort of unique images is looking and doing some research into like what creates this image and once again I know this is kind of pixelated um, but the reason I'm zooming in is um, it's a really low res image but again you can see it looks very airbrushed everything is really smooth it almost looks like it's it's been painted um, from far away it actually looks very painted um, and uh, so everything's been really airbrushed and um, and this is probably an original photograph that was then sort of uh, just kind of photoshopped into this painted sort of look um, stylized image and I'll show you exactly how to get that so let's go ahead and move on to our actual photograph um, and you can see here what I've done now um, I'm gonna show you how to achieve this final effect but there's probably multiple ways you can do it um, I'm just gonna show you the way that I I did it and you can see that I have a variety of different layers here different things going on and I'm gonna explain each one of those um, and kinda of show you how I got to this effect so the first thing that we actually need to do is start with a brand new blank um, background and the first thing that we'll do is we'll look at image size we're gonna start with 1024 by 768 um, that's a pretty standard image size these days uh, most people if you have a I would say if you have between like a 15 to 19 inch um, or 15 to 17 inch or 19 inch monitor this is fine um, this will actually fit because at 100 percent that's gonna fit across uh, most of your desktop especially if you have like a 15 inch monitor um, so um, now that that's created, um, 
I'm just going to zoom into 100% here, and we're going to change our background to solid black to start with, and I'm just going to hit Alt Delete on my keyboard to fill that in. Now, with my layer here, when you create a brand new layer um, and a brand new document, uh, this layer is going to be actually unlocked. So then what we'll do is we're going to actually come up to here to uh, filter and we want to look under um, there's a special little filter under here which actually creates um, uh, clouds and so I'm just going to go through my menus here because I'm just kind of forgetting for a second um, so it's under render under the render menu there's a thing called clouds okay and you can basically click on that now that's going to instantly create this cloud pattern automatically which is a really really quick little nice effect now to sort of enhance this um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that layer and then I'm going to go through my different blending modes here and look for the one that's a little bit more dramatic and I like the multiply uh, that seems to be a little bit more dra dr dr um, dramatic and you basically get this really nice like combination of these like really really intense um, kind of like scary looking clouds almost turning more into fog so we're gonna leave that for right now and go ahead and zoom out and um, I'm gonna hit the F key on my keyboard really quick and that's going to actually put me in full screen mode which I just found out it's not going to work for this particular tutorial um, because of the way it works um, so I'm going to leave that off right now but um, alright so next step is I'm going to just merge these together for right now because I'm um, I'm not going to need those individual layers for anything else now now that I have those layers what I want to actually do is I want to create sort of like a, uh, a little pocket right over here for the actors to kind of sit inside of so what we'll do is I'm going to take my elliptical uh, marquee here and I'm going to hold down my shift key so that I can make a nice big perfect circle and then I'm going to hold, pull that over to the edge here and you can see I kind of have like this half moon shape going on I'm just going to scoot this over just a little bit so I'm going to go back over to my layers I'm going to create a new layer and once again I'm going to hit alt delete I'm going to fill that with solid black okay now I'm going to also hit um, control D or command D on a Mac just to deselect that outer edge um, or that that selection and um, this video is going to probably be in two parts just so you know because it is quite lengthy to show you this entire process I'm at seven minutes right now so um, we'll be doing the second part in the next video uh, the next thing we're going to do is um, we're going to do image um, and we actually want to blur this so I'm sorry we're gonna to go to filter and we're gonna go blur and we're gonna do Gaussian blur here okay and we're gonna go and blur this all the way out completely okay so you can see just by doing that you, we now have this like really dark area over here and I'm gonna just take that and hold down my alt key and just drag that just to bring one more layer forward so that it gets a little bit darker over here now now it's sort of time to bring the actors um, into that little pocket area so we we're gonna bring that photo that we had from before this one here into that new image so I'll go ahead and use my rectangle marquee tool here just do a quick control C and kind of get these out of the way for a moment and then I'm gonna hit uh, control V I'm gonna zoom out and paste those guys in and then bring them down into this corner okay now you can see it's a little bit too short for this image I'm gonna hit control T and I'm not worried about scaling this um, I, I wouldn't do that if this was a print document but because this is um, gonna be on my desktop and I'm gonna apply some other effects to this image we're not gonna notice the, pi uh, the all the pixelation um, quite as much so I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter on that and the other thing is there's a little bit of a scarf and a little bit of this thing going on over here and I don't want to see that I'm gonna scoot that right over and that's fine because that's going to be the edge of my my desktop anyway so I'm gonna cut that out of the photo and then the other thing is her elbow is getting cut off right here a little bit and so I don't really want to um, mess that up um, any more than it is but it looks a little bit unnatural so we're gonna kind of black all this out and the way you do that is you simply use your uh, layer mask here so um, I'm going to go ahead and use that over here and here's my layer mask right here and now I'm going to start painting actually and make sure your caps lock is off otherwise you won't actually see the little circle here that's going to be around um, your brush so um, 
I'm going to hit 10 minutes here. So um, just before I do that, I'll see you in the uh, in the next video.